What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to do a finishing touch on our Lamborghini. It's been a minute since we actually posted our Lamborghini, right? Yeah. So we're actually starting this video in the car driving. We gotta go home, pick up the Lambo, take it back to the shop. We got little touches to do on it, uh, little touch ups here and there. We do have to change, well not change actually, the bottom guard, we ordered it from a Huracan, yeah. but we need it from a Performante, it's different. So we ordered that and also the link, uh, the ALA system that we mentioned that it was kept going off the light. It's because of the link in the, the lift system. All that is failing right now, malfunction on the dashboard because of that little link. So I guess the uh, ALA is the, uh, how, what is it? It's the aerodynamic system. Yeah, the aerodynamic so, system. Since the link is not there, you, the car is not aerodynamic, you know? It's not working properly. Yeah, it's so. not working properly. So we're actually pulling up home. Our shop is like five minutes from the house, which is good. Save gas on this, you know, eight. A uh, mile per gallon. <laughs> what is Thingy. that? We Mercedes? Are is yeah. that Mercedes? Mercedes. It's a Mercedes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The Audi. We have to kind of wait for some parts. So we're stuck on that a little bit. And we actually, I, I personally cannot wait till we start building this G wagon. It's, yeah, dude. Yeah. I just every time I'm sitting this, uh, I just, I just need it. I need it. I need it done ASAP, like my old one. So. We need to build this thing ASAP, but we just got off. We got too much going on right now with projects, project wise. So, all right, let's pull up. Here, huh? Get the Lambo out of the garage and take it to the shop and go from there. Alright guys, we took the car out of the garage. We haven't driven this car in a while actually. Nothing's better than driving a Lamborghini through the sunset. So this is the link by the way. That's the link we gotta change. <laughs> so let's 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 right, go, let's, let's hit the road, get to the shop. Alright guys, so we do have the finishing touches, which is the link and the undershield for the Lambo. We have the Lambo here at the shop. Let's go ahead, back it up into that lift, raise it up and install the rest of the parts. Pick up the suspension a little bit so we can actually get this underneath the car. Right, let's start the car again. Good? Yeah. Clearance. Look at all this clearance right here. My whole hand fits in here. Is that how you're gonna get out? I don't even know how I'm gonna get out. <laughs> just get out through the windshield. Look at that. There you go. This car just looks so good in the shop. Everything's all messy and like one color sort of combination, then boom, blue. Look at that. That looks cool. It's actually looks the sick. first time it's gonna be on, the, on this lift. Yeah, so. Now we don't have to really work underneath the car by just sliding it under, picking up a pallet jacks. Oh, you know, you know what, actually? Remember somebody told us if we lift up the Lamborghini from one side with the pallet jack, the windshield can crack. Pallet jack, we don't have pallet jacks here. I don't know why I keep saying pallet jacks. 
I mean, uh, car jacks. I don't know why I keep. Hey, you can't blame him. Look, the thing is, it's after work hours. It's after work hours. First of all, second of all, I do work union, so I see a whole bunch of pallet jacks and I use them. So it is what it is. I don't care. Hey, Sue we me. Did, we did lift the G wagon with the forklift. Yeah, with the forklift. So check us out on TikTok. Hit us up on TikTok, foreign builds. Instagram also foreign builds. Alright guys, so we actually got the right shield now. Here, let me actually show you what we actually got the first time. It's right here, we're still gonna return it. Drop it. All right, so that's a performance. That's just a regular coupe. So they are different. So we got this one. I guess this right here, it comes. It's like cut out special for the front lip, and also that area over there is for the ALA system for the air vents, the air whatever to go through. I mean, this one has a two. It's a little bit different. You can see that one's slightly bigger. And this is actually this is different material. This is kind of like fiberglass and this is just like a regular regular one that a regular car would have I don't know what material this is but this looks like it's fiberglass so that's lighter a lot lighter than that even though they're both light whatever but I guess performance car uh Monty so a lot of special parts on it <laughs> We can finally look underneath the car without laying underneath it so we can see everything clear. Look how good of work we did right here. Look at that. Look at this. Factory right there. This is factory. This is us. A little bit a little bit better than factory. Wouldn't you say it? Tad bit. A little bit better than factory. Look at all these bit. bolts we're gonna have to screw in now. It's a lot of bolts, a lot of clips. So this right here, the stabilizer link, you see how this side has it right here? This side does not have it, basically goes like, like something like this. And we did take this one off of R8. Uh, it, does, it, ha it does have the same exact part number. So I guess, I mean, you guys already know, we mentioned it a lot of times. A lot of Audi part numbers, Audi parts on the Lamborghinis. Audi Lamborghini they make the same stuff a lot of sensors we actually even use a lot of sensors that we bought for the Lamborghini we actually had to buy for our S7 as well so a lot we had to sometimes basically just go to the um, basically go to the Audi dealership when we can't find something something small like a sensors and stuff like uh, computer wise stuff like that electrical uh, plugs we just go to the Audi dealership by the part number buy it it goes for R8s or S7s R7s whatever uh, etc and pretty much yeah we just had to go to the Audi dealership to buy some parts for the Lamborghini you know and Lamborghini probably costs like three times more just because it's Lamborghini but it's the same same part number here is the old one that's what we're changing it I think we could have put this one on actually and not have any issues or problems with it let me try to focus it bring it closer but you can see it has little scuffs here and there the bushing is a little bit worn out I guess during the accident or whatever bushing a little bit worn out inside there so we got a brand new one it's only 90 dollars so we're like why not just let's change it so yeah we're, that's what we're just pretty much just changing that this was on the car we took it off look at this the bolt from the actual stabilizer yeah, link twist oh, it yeah, you could see it twist it you could see that yeah we're gonna swap it out with some some new bolts yeah Good thing that we actually don't have to take off the rim to do it. Oh, the rim's a right. pain in the ass to take off. Yeah, that one lug nut right here. Uh, so on specs, it shows that the regular Huracan wheels with the uh, five lugs has to be at each, each lug at 70, no, 110, 110 pounds, I believe. Like torque? Pounds yeah, of torque? pounds of torque. This huh. one actually has to be at 450 or something like that. If you don't, if you don't get it tight enough, after driving it for a little bit, because we had this problem with it, no at first, 
you drive it for a little bit, then you start hearing like a ticking noise. Yeah, yeah. So for everybody that has uh, center center lug uh, wheels, make sure you tighten them good. Snug it a little bit with your fingers. I think we should be good to go. <laughs> Let's cross thread it. That way we don't have to use Loctite. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, like 13? Uh, it looks bigger. What do I know? But what do I know about cars? You know, I, you know about glass. <laughs> I'm here. Nope, it's a 15. I'm here 24/7. Yeah. Well, I knew that part. It was bigger than 13. I was just doing an oil change in the S7, so I was using the 13 actually. Oh uh, no, not the oil change. Uh, I was actually uh, switching out the radiator off camera. Yeah, we did kind of uh, punch a little hole through our radiator. The one that we installed. We. We. It's actually this guy. Ah, no, 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 so, no. I had to. It was the guy that installs windows, not the guy that. I actually had to call 1 800 radiators, get a new radio to deliver right away. I had to call. I had to call. Here. I <laughs> called. He. Yeah. Hold on. Nope. Yeah. Walk away from I'm about to expose you. <laughs> Look at this. Can you call 1 800 radiator? Ah. Yeah, you asked me that from your phone. What? I've actually it. never seen you mess up a size of a bolt this much. You usually get in the first. I went 13, I went 14, I went 16, I went 18, it's a 17. You skipped 17, you went straight to 18. Uh, so, usually German and Italian cars, it's weird numbers like 17, 13. Uh, a Subaru, you can take the whole thing apart by either a 10 or a, yeah, a 10 millimeter. You can pull off the whole car, everything. That's if you don't lose the 10 millimeter. Yeah. Alright, let's just hope it's correct this time. It looks correct. Does it go above the car like that or does it go... You know what I mean? Not or does it go underneath this It goes part? underneath. Go oh, underneath. over there it goes underneath. Okay. Alright guys, so we did get it installed. 200 bolts later. <laughs> a lot of bolts just for this little shield now we could actually hit speed bumps at like 80 miles an hour and we should be fine dude yeah there's no way we're smashing the yeah what is thing. this fiberglass it should protect it should protect let's go test it out flexes our new lift yeah look at that look at that <laughs> what's up let's start it up Pull it off. It gives some revs. Pull it out a little bit. Start it, pull it out a little bit, and let's flex the exhaust a little bit. Twelve twenty-five. Twelve twenty-five. Right. Do we have any lights on the dash? So far, seatbelt light. Seatbelt light. Put on your seatbelt now. Let's take some spins around and let's see, let's see if there will be any lights. Let's test out that speed bump right there, just how you want it. <laughs> no lights, no lights, we're good to go. Oh, we're good yes. to go, boys. That's it. So we can officially say the car is done now, right? Yeah. 
it's we officially got the link complete. On. We have one little tiny bit problem, which. All right, guys. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow when the touch up does come from Italy, so we can touch up that uh, black paint over there. We are not gonna wait for no touch up. It's gonna come from Italy. <laughs> nah. uh, we're actually gonna call it a night. It's probably yeah. like one o'clock already. We got done. Whatever we needed to do, stayed up late. Everything's done. I was I was gonna say stayed up late just to finish, but we actually stayed up late every single day to work on any car. Yeah. Uh, there's just uh, the game right now, the hustle. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all cars. It's all cars. All Those cars. are all behind the scenes. Yeah. Behind the scenes, what we do actually. So. Except for that one. Except for that one, though. We just have a little bit issues in that one. He broke the radiator. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was you. It wasn't me. Somebody did it. Somebody has to do it. Okay. We have to play with somebody. Yeah. All right. Anyways. This is actually going to be it for tonight. We completed the Lamborghini completely. It's done. Next video is going to be the price reveal. And it's going up for sale. Sad, but it has to go. All right, guys, that will be it for today's video. We did decide to bring the Lamborghini back for another video because we do actually have to wait on some parts uh, for the Audi. Uh, what do we have to actually wait? Let's give them a little update on it. Update on the Audi. The fender did get welded. Yeah, the fender did get welded. So it's we an aluminum fender, so we didn't really want to mess with it. Uh, but that came in today, so we can get straight back to the Audi after the Lambo. So if you guys haven't been watching our Audi rebuild, just go on our channel. We got a few videos up already. And once the car is done, we're gonna, I don't know, we're gonna do something to it. <laughs> we're gonna definitely burn the tires. It's our drive, but we'll figure it out. But that's, that's gonna it. be it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit up our Instagram at Foreign Builds. TikTok at Foreign Builds. We do some pretty much dumb stuff on there to be honest uh it, but whatever it is what about what it snapchat is. we don't have snapchat that's way too much that's your, way too much deal. Personal snapchat? <laughs> yeah uh that's not gonna happen so hope you guys like it catch us in the next video